Good evening, welcome to Meme 40. Tonight, I'd like to show you my 10-step K-Beauty nighttime ritual. I know 10 steps may sound a lot, but as I'm in my 40s, I realize the importance of cleansing and hydrating so that your skin is primed at its best for the hours that you are sleeping. Sleep is so crucial because it allows your skin to rest and rejuvenate and allow for cell turnover, which helps preserve the skin's youth. I spend about 10 minutes, which is not a lot of time and it's well worth it. I think 10 minutes is the amount of time that I also spend on my morning routine. So as a benchmark, the amount of time that you spend in the morning applying your skincare and your makeup should be the equal amount of time that you spend at night removing and cleansing your skin. Tonight's episode is not so much about the product, so I won't talk too much in detail about the characteristics of the product that I'm using. I'll save that for another episode. I just want to show you the 10 basic techniques um, and walk you step by step and show you how really easy it is to get your skin ready for sleep time. As a first step and probably the most crucial one is, is to wash your hands very thoroughly with soap and water. According to today's recommendations, they recommend that you take at least 30 seconds to thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water. Even before touching your face or touching any of the products, you want to make sure that you're not contaminating your skin. So I do a very thorough hand wash, even though I have been home all day and probably everything in my house is clean. Once this is done, I'm just going to pat my hands dry and get myself ready for the next step. Once your hands are clean, then we can start touching the product and applying it onto our face. This is one of my favorite steps of the nighttime ritual and it involves using a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. Um, these two are one of my favorite K-Beauty products. The balm just happens to just melt across your face and uh, these are the clean alternatives which I've also grown to love from Beauty Counter. Um, again, it's an oil or a balm. Um, both of these feel really luxurious. Uh, tonight, I'm going to use an oil. Uh, maybe I'll try the Beauty Counter one. And I'm really generous with the product. This one, I use about three pumps so that my hands are very, very shiny. Um, I'm gonna apply it. And when you apply it onto your face, you wanna just be really gentle and glide it on. You don't want to tug or pull your skin, even though you're aiming for a deep cleanse. Uh, this part is very, very relaxing and soothing. Uh, for people with dry and aging skin, um, it's crucial that you have enough moisture so that we can prevent wrinkles. This oil, it also has a really calming aroma to it. So I really like to take deep breaths as I'm doing this step and make sure that I'm massaging all the areas of my face. Uh, today I wore a bit of eye makeup, so I'll just lightly spread the oil on my eyes. Um, so there you see the shine on my face. Um, even if you tend to be oil prone and have oilier skin, don't be nervous by the oil because oil is actually essential in making sure that you regulate the amount of sebum in your face. Uh, a good amount of oil actually helps because um, when, it, when your skin is dry, that's when wrinkles start to form. So I, I use an oil even though I don't wear makeup every day. It just helps capture all of the the dust and the dirt and the grime that's accumulated from the day. And once this is done, and I spend a good amount of time on this, once you're finished massaging, you can use either um, makeup tissue or micellar water with uh, a, a cotton pad to wipe away the initial oil from your face. The shortcut here is if you wanna skip the oil step, you can go straight into using the cleansing tissue. 
and, and that'll prepare your skin for cleansing foams that will follow. Now I'm just gonna wipe this off. The eye areas you want to be a little bit more meticulous. Now I wear contacts and I don't want any of the products to end up in my eyes. I'm very paranoid about the health of my eyes. So I'd like to just really be gentle but thorough. For the rest of the face, you can just lightly sweep the cleansing tissue across the face in upwards motions. And then you go the other way, still in an upwards motion. Because the little baby hairs on your face, you wanna make sure that you're getting enough coverage and removing all of the dirt and impurities. I like to do this even on the days that I don't wear any makeup because I find that there's a lot of dust in the air. Um, if you have pets, dog hair, cat hair, um, and just your natural oils can end up clogging your skin as you sleep and that is never a good effect. So my skin right now, it still feels really moisturized because of the oils and there's no tightness. Um, you really want to avoid the tightness because that is a sign that your skin is dry and will be prone to more wrinkles. It actually feels really clean. Even though it's oils, your face doesn't feel like it has a lot of grime. It feels refreshed just after that one first step. The second step that I will introduce is the deep foam cleansing. So a lot of people, they go directly into this step, but I encourage you to try using the oil-based removal method. Um, it promotes circulation on your face when you're doing the gentle massage motions, but it also helps to retain a lot of the moisture. And oil actually captures a lot of the dirt and the grime and a lot of the, the pores that have been clogged can be cleansed thoroughly with the oil step first. Uh, when moving on to the foam, sometimes if my skin feels extra grimy, I use the Clear Sonic tool. I think this is a really great tool in that it helps train uh, focusing on specific areas. It gives a pulsation, so it's a timed cleanse, and you're spending um, equal amounts of time on your cheek, your forehead, your nose, and it really gets in there to scrub into the pores. Sometimes. Uh, when my skin is looking a bit dull, just one time use of the Clear Sonic really helps. Other times, I like to use um, a bit of a, a pore uh, scrub, and this one it gently exfoliates because it has a bit of the granular beads in it, in addition to it being a foam cleanser. So, this one I've shown before, um, some of you may have laughed at the state of it, but it's a product that I really, really love and I use it till the very end, um, but I think it's time for me to get a new one. Um, other times, a low pH cleanser like this one will do uh, pretty much any cleanser that you have. Sometimes if um, I, I'm really lazy, I just reach for the same soap that I use for my body and I would do that twice. Um, I have to be honest and say that that doesn't feel all that great just because the types of soaps that you use on your body, the skin is just so different and the skin on your face is meant to be a lot more delicate regardless of if you're a woman or a man so having the two different soaps for your face is a critical component of k-beauty um, especially in the nighttime uh, when i use the the foam i like to use it twice the first time would be to get the initial um, oil and the surface dirt off of my face the second time is uh, the, the double cleanse, which is uh, getting a little bit more in depth and it allows for the foam to just clear out um, all the stubborn dirt that is hiding and lurking under the pores um, without stripping your face. And that's a critical component of the foams that I choose is that if I feel tightness in my skin, I really don't like that. And so I need to find something that's a lot more gentle that allows me to use it twice to get that deep cleanse. When you use your foam cleanser, I've gotten into the habit of first squeezing it onto my fingertips, adding a bit of water, and then foaming it on the fingertips first before applying it onto your face. The secret in this is that when you apply 
the product directly onto your face and you try to create the lather, you're actually doing a lot of, you may be doing a lot of pulling and tugging, which is never good for the skin. In order to reduce the amount of sagginess um, when you age, I really like to make sure that I'm not doing certain motions that over time can cause the skin to lose its elasticity. So I'm gonna wash this away. Then I'm going to do the second cleanse the same way by creating the foam on my fingertips and then applying it onto my cheeks and forehead. When I'm washing the face, you want to move your hands in an upwards motion. So again, you want to resist the urge to scrub up and down, back and forth, yanking your, your skin. And then at the end, I follow up with a cold splash. I'm just patting my face dry. Resisting the urge to really do this and scrub away all of the water and moisture. You just do a light pat and that's enough to get all of the excess water off of your face. The cold splash is something that I used to dread doing, especially in the winter time when you're freezing. Um, but it, it is an essential step in that it really helps to tighten the pores and make them shrink. So having the warm water um, scrub away the foam and then following with the cold splash, it really helps maintain the tightness of your face as well. Um, my hardcore husband, he likes to do a cold splash in the shower so his entire body is splashed on with cold water at the end and that's a little too intense for me. But I do understand the health and the skin benefits that come along with making sure that your, the temperature of the water is, is being regulated warm and then, and then cold. And his skin, he's got really great skin. Once we've finished with the foam, then I move on to a toner pad. This is a product that I really love. Um, I've used up a container and I'm already opening my second one um, only within a few months. When used every day, it, it really helps to gently wipe out all of the excess oil that may remain and my complexion has turned a lot clearer. So by taking one of these, the texture is different on each side and uh, I initially start off with the rougher side, again in an upward sweeping motion. both cheeks and then in the corners of the nose where dirty stuff can lurk and then on the forehead as well and you mustn't forget about the neck cleansing the neck is a really important step too in order to promote cell rejuvenation and just makes you feel really refreshed and then you take the softer side and then just lightly tap in the toner onto your face. This one has a really pleasant scent of tea tree oil and I think that also really helps with clarifying and smoothing out the texture of the skin. And those of you with uh, acne or troubled skin, you'll find that these, these pads really work. Um, it's meant to be a clarifying toner and it also balances the pH level in your face. So this has been one of my go-to items for quite some time now. And the next step you can skip, but I have really dry skin, so I double up on the toner, especially at night. I like to make sure that my toners don't have any alcohol in them. This one is a cream-based toner, which is really unique in that it's not heavy, but it has the benefits of making sure that your skin stays hydrated. Um, I like to apply this onto my palms because it's quite watery and you don't need that much and I lightly tap it on focusing on the areas that are especially dry like my cheek and my neck 
So already I have a bit of that dewy glow and um, it's one that I, I really aim to achieve, especially at night, because when you're sleeping, I want to ensure that my skin is optimized so that it can allow for cell rejuvenation and turnover. Right after cleansing, if you do fall asleep, just after doing the foam, you'll often find that your skin is tight. Um, and when you wake up, you may actually feel really dry. Um, so I recommend uh, really moisturizing after the cleansing step. A large part of the moisturizer comes from the toner, but uh, I also like to apply an AHA and a BHA. This, these are sort of chemical exfoliants and some people may think that it's really harsh on the skin, but if you choose carefully and listen to what your skin is telling you, they, they will really give you a lot of benefits. This is a COSRX product. It helps with going really deep underneath the skin surface and uh, targeting the whiteheads and the blackheads. Um, this is another product that I really love. It's a beauty counter product. That's the resurfacing overnight peel and it true to its name uh, overnight um, I felt like even after the first time my skin had turned over I had woken up with a really nice glow my nose was shiny because the pores they felt like it was a little bit tightened um, and I really saw remarkable results from this one product so I'm going to actually review that one in greater detail but um, tonight I'm going to use the Kosar X one Either one really helps with making sure that you are eliminating the dullness and the tired looking skin. Um, and when you eliminate the dead skin cells, it helps for the younger ones to appear onto the surface. So again, the same upwards motion as using the toner pad, I apply the AHA. Initially it might tingle. but my skin got really used to it and I see really great benefits from using an AHA and BHA at nighttime. Um, like I said, it really helps with promoting cell turnover during nighttime and in the morning I wake up with a different kind of glow than the days that I don't use it. Next, we're going to apply essences and serum. Uh, the essence and serum is a critical part of Korean skincare routines and during the daytime, I really do not skip out on the essence step. At nighttime, it's even more critical because I have dry skin and I wanna make sure that I'm sufficiently hydrating it to prevent wrinkles. I like to use something that's a little bit richer at night, something like this product. Um, the clean alternative would be the Tripeptide Radiance Serum. This one is a really great one to help with the cell turnover and, and promote the tightness of your skin. So tonight, uh, I'm gonna apply this rich one because it's been a bit cold outside and my skin being exposed to the elements, I find that it's becoming a lot more sensitive. So this one, a lot of people may not like a gooey texture like this, but I promise you, when you put it on your skin, it doesn't feel sticky. For serums, because the molecules are finer than creams, I always ensure that the essence goes on very close to the toner step. The order of applying products and layering them is pretty important so that you maximize the benefits from the products that you're using. There's that glow from the serum. And again, my face, it doesn't feel sticky. It feels really clean, refreshed, and pretty soft to the touch. So you can stop there and head straight to bed. I like to continue on with one more product on my face, and that would be a richer cream, um, a night cream, which is something that I never used in my 20s or even 30s, but now in my 40s, I think that for me, it's a really essential step. I have pretty dry cheeks, and I feel a difference the nights that I sleep with a rich cream on versus nights that I don't. Um, the nights that I do, I wake up with very soft and supple skin. Sometimes the skin even feels like it's become a lot tighter um, after a good night's sleep. 
The nights that I don't apply cream, it's still fine because I've gone through the hydration steps of the toner and the essence. But in the winter time, because my skin is very vulnerable, it's exposed to the wind and the cold, uh, I always try to put on an extra barrier. So these two are ones that I frequent pretty often. This one is the Clean Beauty Alternative by Beauty Counter. Another thing that I really enjoy at night is a sleeping mask. This one is a Korean brand. Um, it contains yuja, which is a citrus fruit. So tonight, I think I will apply this one. Just the lovely aroma of the citrus and you don't actually need a lot of the product. You don't want to apply too much, but like an amount like this, I apply onto my cheeks, forehead and neck. And again, the application and the technique of applying is pretty important. So initially I tap on the sleeping mask. And then in order to maximize the therapeutic benefits, I like to just lightly massage my tired eyes and then smooth out the forehead, massage the temples, and this really relaxes you and prepares you for a good night's sleep. The scent of the yuja is also very, very calming and the vitamin C properties help with brightening the skin. This is a product that I started using this winter and immediately after the first two nights, I noticed a difference in the brightness of my skin. So this, there's some magic in, in the, the fruit called yuja um, that I'm really seeing right now on my skin. The last two steps involve optional steps, but for me, it's really important in the whole relaxation process. The first is I like to make sure that my body has regulated its temperature coming out of the shower um, and just before bed, I'd like to enjoy a herbal tea. Sometimes it's yuja if you crave a bit of um, dose of vitamin C so that you can boost your immune system while you're sleeping. Other times it would be mint tea to soothe and calm and also just break through my sinuses it also relaxes me for a deeper sleep. Um, other times I could just take a simple rooibos for extra hydration from the inside and out. Tea is something that's been an important part of my diet since I was a little kid. And uh, I think there is importance, regardless of what season you're in, just to have a warm drink um, before bedtime. And then the last step is my body care step. And um, especially after a shower, you want to retain the moisture in your skin. So I end off the night by applying a body oil or a body lotion and making sure that the extra uh, hydration is provided to the areas where I need it the most. So I'm going to head off to bed. I hope that this video has been very helpful in um, making you see the importance of a Korean beauty nighttime ritual and some of these steps are very easy to implement so I hope that you will give them a try and let me know in the comments below what's working for you and whether you are seeing any differences in the quality of your skin or the quality of your sleep. Have a good night and see you again next time.